Now this story is crazy and very confusing, but the whole reason of this video is to show you the dangers of what happens when somebody makes up something and the implications it can have. You guys, I am into some shit now. I am into some deep shit. So I'm not even going to do no parts. I'm going to just tell y'all the whole motherfucking story. All right, cool. So I'm married now, you guys. I've been married for eight years. I have three kids with my husband. My husband is now overseas. He's been over there for about two years. When he do come home, he probably come home three times out of the year. He stay home for two, maybe two to three weeks at a time. All right, cool. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. So I end up cheating on my husband. Yes, I cheated on him. He don't know that I cheated on him after this video. He gonna know. Now the story already starts to take an interesting turn. You would make a video publicly to show that your husband is being cheated on instead of telling him you'd rather make the video public assuming that the video is going to go viral so you told a story that you're assuming is going to go so viral that it's going to get back to your husband that you're cheating on him but it gets worse than that it gets worse than the cheating all right so i end up going to the bar one night and end up having a one night stand with this guy and it was amazing so that one night stand turned into a almost an every night stand um but it was just like a sexual relationship. I didn't even really like care to even really get to know the man. It's just I, I'm, I'm married. So it was just whatever, you know, my husband couldn't do for me at the time I was messing with this guy. So a one night stand turned into an every night stand. But it almost sounds as if the one night stand immediately turned into an every night stand. But this is only a sexual relationship. So just based off of the sex that was going on makes you want to destroy your entire marriage because your husband wasn't able to give you what you needed okay i was messing with this guy this young fella and he fine too notice that she had to go and say that he's fine too because obviously she's a 10 so she would get any man she wanted of course all right cool so um we've been messing around for maybe two years now or whatever and i'm just now we used to we when we met up, we just get a room. But now it's like, okay, I could come to your house. You can't come to my house because my kids is at the house. But now I'm going to his house. All right, cool. So long story short, today I found out a bitch is pregnant. I am pregnant. My husband is overseas. Wow, who could have seen that coming? She's pregnant. Of course she is. But I want you guys to keep this in mind. It's been two years since she's been messing around with this man two years keep that timeline in your head because some things really start to fall apart as this story continues to go on and i know she's trying to fabricate all this but even when you try to tell a fake story ma'am please do your best to make sure it makes sense watch the video back do something it gotta be this man baby i haven't even told him yet all right so yesterday i go to his house and I see this wall and it got the pictures, like the picture collage and stuff. And I'm just now paying attention to it. So I'm looking at the pictures and I'm just like, oh, okay. You know, he doesn't have any kids. So I'm just looking at the pictures and just looking. And then I see a picture of my husband on the motherfucking wall. She now, this man knows her husband. Now, I want y'all to keep this in mind. I want y'all to go a step back again with me. She has not told her husband that she's cheating on him, nor has she told this man that she's pregnant. Does this sound like somebody who's even credible or somebody, if even if they were telling the truth, that this is somebody that could be trusted? Is this a video that we should even get on? This sounds like a horrible person if this was all true. You don't tell the man that you're pregnant. You don't tell your husband you're cheating on him. You rather make that public and embarrass both of these men. You sound like a horrible individual. The whole time I'm over there, I'm just sitting there, like, trying to think, like, how am I going to ask him, how do you know that guy that's on your wall? So, I'm just, I, I done bit off all my nails, you guys. Like, I got one more thumb left. I got the thumb left because I'm over there nervous. I'm just biting my nails, biting my nails. Just trying to figure out, how am I going to ask him, how do you know this particular man in this goddamn picture? And I'm like, if you know him, then you know he got a wife. So, I'm like... Was this a setup? Like, cause I, I, I just don't know. So I just fucking like after probably after I ate off all my fingernails and we don't watch movie, everything. Like I, I didn't, I finally asked. 
So I go back over to the wall. So now I'm just like, all right, cool. You just got to start asking questions like, well, who is this lady? Who is this person? Who is this? So I'm like, who this? He like, that's my mama. Who, this your daddy. All right, cool. And then this nigga right here. I ain't saying like that. But you get down to the nigga right here. How do you know him? Who's that? He said, that's my brother. Let's break down the scenario so far. Somehow, the one guy she picks who happens to be super fine happens to also want to have multiple night nice stands with her. Take her to his house. And she also happens to be the brother of your husband. Ma'am. Ma'am. Please tell me that this is insane. Please tell me that you've gotten help and gotten therapy since this moment. But I know she has it because at the moment she made this video, she mentions that she's been biting her fingernails. So she's making this video literally after finding out this information. Allegedly. I don't know. But this story is seeming to fall apart pretty quickly. But we'll continue. And I'm like, we've been married for eight years. I ain't never know him to have a, a, a brother. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, on, on your daddy's side. So he's like, yeah, on my dad's side. All right, now, cool. That's some clarity right there because my husband, daddy died way before the, me, even, me and him even met. Um, he said he had some siblings on his daddy's side, but he don't really know. Like, like I got some siblings on my daddy's side. Like, I got a whole bunch of, I think, seven of them. I don't really know them like that. Like, I know them, but I don't even know them like that. So, it, you know, it could, yeah, yeah. So my husband ain't really, like, talk about him like that. You know, they cool or whatever, but they ain't, he ain't never, like, you know, he wasn't never at none of the family functions and nothing like that. That's his daddy's side, you know? Um, One thing I don't do, okay, she's talking about having half-siblings that they don't even speak to. Do any of y'all have half-siblings that you don't speak to, that you have on your wall with the rest of your family, even though you don't talk to them? Does that make any sense at all to have a half sibling on your wall that you don't even talk to at all that ma'am he's telling me like you know they actually really close but i ain't never see this nigga but i'm just like okay you know is he married he like yeah he married and i'm just like oh, okay so I'm like, so do you know his wife? He like, nah, I ain't never met her. She live overseas with, with him. So I'm like, no, I'm not. In my head, I'm just like, oh yeah. He like, yeah, they um, they got two kids in Germany, and I'm just like, oh, fuck, I got three in my head. So I'm just like, oh yeah. He like, yeah. I talk to him, you know, very frequently. I'm just like, oh, okay. Or he like, yeah. So I'm like, maybe that ain't him. Maybe it ain't. Him. I'm like, maybe it ain't him. Because I got three kids and I live in the United States of America. So I'm just like, okay. So then on the collage, he starts showing me pictures of the pictures I did not see yet. But he showed me pictures of my husband with his wife. Now, mind you. I'm the wife. So he showed me pictures of my husband with another woman. So I'm just like, and, and they're kids. So I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. So, but the crazy thing is he got two boys by this other lady. Well, I, from what I'm seeing, he got pictures of the kids up here. These two boys look identical to my kids. Like, they look the same okay so i let that whole part roll okay so y'all can see the craziness of all of this i want y'all to remember this he said the the fling here he said that him and his brother were close so close that they talked about him having a wife him having kids but somehow some way you are not mentioned as a girlfriend, a side piece, nothing at all. And somehow y'all happen to me. Y'all happen to have these conversations. And at the very end of all of this nonsensical, sensical, this is nonsense of a story. Can y'all guess what she asked? I'm pregnant by my husband's brother. What do I do? What do I do? 
Now, the whole reason I'm making this video is because I believe that this can be somewhat harmful. Why is that? Well, if she is single, it's not really harming anybody. It's just a fabricated story. She's going to make a little viral moment out of it. Okay, we'll move on. If she has a real family and this is all fake, she's really hurting the family. And obviously, if this is all real, everybody's getting hurt because their personal business is getting exposed. But here's where we run into another problem. People who make these kind of videos, if they can get enough people to pay attention, they're going to start making money off of this. That's where I start to have a problem. This turns into a few things sometimes. One, she's going to start saying her, maybe her husband, kicked, this is just me saying this. One, she could end up saying her husband kicked her out and now she needs money and she starts to go fund me. Some, or something to that nature, some crazy story happens and now she needs money. And so she'll take this moment to do that. Two, this goes in the merch or something like that or just some another way to make money. Or three, she keeps to continue the lie. She pushes this story as far as she can and she turns this into a way to make money. Now, my problem with it turning into a way to make money, because if you're doing it all off a lie, that's fraud. That's scamming people. People got interested in you because they feel like, man, you got in a crazy situation. Maybe we can help you with the pregnancy and all this kind of stuff. People are just going to throw money because that's what people do. Some people are just kind hearted. OK, that's how it goes. I don't think we should ever take advantage of people by lying. If you want to say the story is fake and come out and say that, that's fine. If you want to come out and say this was all a skit, that's fine. But if you do not come out and make it apparently true, I don't mean that we have to go through and say and have to go through and make assumptions. We don't need to have to go through and be like, oh, my God, now that I've gone to her TikTok, I can see it. No, 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 no. You need to make it very apparent that this is not a true story, because when people take a lie and turn it into money, that's disgusting. OK, and guys, we are going to start seeing a lot more of this happening. So please be careful. When you hear these stories pop up, because one woman goes viral, not every woman thinks they can go viral and everybody's going to take advantage of you and your money. So just be careful about what you hear out there. But by the way, you guys hear anything else or you think this story is real? Well, please let me know. Goodbye.